Today we're here to investigate a mid-air accident that occurred yesterday, about 1855 local, involving a Bell 407 November 555 Alpha Sierra and a Sikorsky S-64 November 4037 Sierra. The three individuals of the Bell 407 perished in the crash. The pilots of the Sikorsky helicopter made a safe emergency landing. Our team arrived late this morning to begin assessing the on-scene investigation. Our purpose during the on-scene investigation is to gather perishable information. Information that will not exist once the wreckage has been disturbed. Our plan is to document the wreckage before relocating to a secure facility in Arizona. Perishable information includes witness statements. And with the assistance of the Riverside County Sheriff's Department and CAL FIRE, we've started to compile that. We'll examine the airframe, the engine, and other components as necessary, which may include a follow-up examination at a later date, which will also include a review of the maintenance history. So at this point, I can tell that they were on a convergence flight and that they did impact one another. So we're, ha we're getting a drone team coming up later tonight and we'll be working the scene tomorrow with a drone team. So at this point, not much. Tragically, I'm here to talk about an incident that occurred yesterday afternoon at approximately 6.03 in the evening. Cal Fire and Riverside County Fire Department Resources uh, were dispatched to a reported structure fire near the intersection of Broadway Street and Esperanza Avenue in the community of Cabazon. Shortly after the arrival of the first engine company, it was reported that the fire had extended into the vegetation and a full wildland fire dispatch was initiated, which included fixed wing and rotary wing aircraft. While engaged in the firefight, two helicopters collided. The first helicopter was able to land safely nearby. Unfortunately, the second helicopter crashed and tragically all three members perished, uh, which included one CAL FIRE division chief, one CAL FIRE fire captain, and one contract pilot. The crash caused an additional four-acre fire, which was extinguished.